The New South Wales Sustaining the Basin Border Rivers Guida project is providing an opportunity for irrigators to upgrade irrigation infrastructure. Capacity building and a skills development program will complement the provision of funds for infrastructure. Industry and Investment New South Wales is providing irrigation training and is also demonstrating new irrigation technologies. One of these is Irisat SMS, which uses remote sensing to provide scheduling advice. From CSIRO, researcher John Hornbuckle describes how it works. Well, what it is, Stuart, it's a technology that uses remote sensing uh, techniques to get an indication of what stage the crop's at and on-ground weather station networks to uh, pick up climatic differences which drive water use. So we combine those two sources of information, so the remote sensing information, which provides site-specific information for everyone's individual crop and management conditions, and then we have an on-ground series of weather stations that we link, that pick up climatic data. We link those two sources of information, and then we provide uh, water management information uh, direct to the irrigator based on those uh, sources of information. So in the Murrumbidgee areas, and some other places around the state we've been delivering that information through the SMS and in regions such as the Guida we've been delivering it uh, through a web-based interface direct to irrigators. What, what would be the limitations up here in uh, the Guida? Essentially the system's been developed uh, for uh, pressurised irrigation systems uh, down in the uh, Murrumbidgee regions. We're also trialling the Hawkesbury Nepean. Um, one of the issues we've got is how we adapt that technology to surface irrigation. So with the trial that we're currently doing up here with industry and investment as part of the sustaining the basins, uh, we've been um, working on adapting those techniques to, to fit the surface irrigation systems and the scale of our production which is done here uh, in the Guida. John, what do you see being the, the biggest potential for irrigators up here in the Guida? I think the biggest potential is that it's uh, another tool which they can use um, that's low cost. One of the benefits of this approach is that it's low cost. It covers very large areas and it's site specific. So it's another tool that they can use to help in their water management. So they can use it for irrigation scheduling potentially and also to fill in gaps. They might have probes in certain paddocks but paddocks where they don't have probes. With this approach what we can do is to pick up those paddocks as well. Low cost, what, what sort of money are we talking about? Uh, in terms of the initial um, cost estimates we've done on it, we're probably looking at um, somewhere um, within the vicinity of maybe um, three to, to $800 per season uh, per irrigator. Another new technology for northern New South Wales is furrow irrigation automation, which has been established on a small area at Oscott, Midkin. This system uses automated PTB gates and fluming to evenly distribute water to each row. Consultant Dave Wigington explains how it works. Basically uh, it's a system where you can automatically control the um, flow into a surface irrigation system. They use automation fairly extensively in southern Australia typically to control bay and basin sort of systems so what we're trying to do is apply some of that technology to a furrow irrigation system um, and it really allows you to have um, some certainty around your uh, management of your furrow irrigation system so you still at this stage um, need to understand when and how long you need to run your irrigation for but you can potentially have some labour savings in terms of starting and stopping irrigations and also some certainty around when that timing is, is going to occur. Now you're working in the Guida Valley, are there any limitations here? Um, not particularly. Um, the main thing that we're trying to do is to, in terms of fitting it to a furrow irrigation system, you need a sort of a bulk delivery system. So we're retrofitting to a PTB installation uh, in this case. And the PTB system itself has had some limitations in the past in terms of, um, of uniformly distributing water to all of the furrows. So we've got some fluming, um, lay flat fluming that we've installed on the downstream end of the PTBs and we've designed that to uniformly um, distribute the, the water to each of the furrows with more or less the same flow rate that the um, siphon system was operating at. And what do you see as being the biggest potential for irrigators here then? Well there's, there's two main potentials. The first one is in terms of labour savings um, and, and certainty of, of irrigation. So with the fluming and the um, automated uh, gates you basically have no siphon um, starting or stopping and the way that we've installed the fluming we don't actually have a rotor buck, um, any, any rotor bucks to install either so there's some potential labour savings there. Um, 
the other real advantage is in, in the future in terms of controlling the irrigation in real time. So the idea is that uh, you can actually measure some irrigation parameters during the beginning of an irrigation event, um, have a piece of software that analyzes that information um, similar to the current performance evaluations, and then can advise as to what needs to happen to improve the efficiency of that event. So in effect, you could actually start the irrigation event it will um, have a look at what's going on, make a decision about what's the best for performance, implement that decision and turn off the irrigation at the appropriate time um, without intervention if that's the way that you, you wanted to control it.